we are. Oh no, I gotta play. The, I gotta play this. Uh oh, I hate that. Hey, it happens. <laughs> you are an awesome person. Can you hear me? Hold on. You see the? See that? Where's that code cancellation? I've never had an issue with this. Damn it! Can you hear me now? Damn it! I'm screwing up. Sorry. I can fix it. I can fix it right now. I I hear it when I'm talking. It's actually a soundbite from the first show that me and Jake ever did together. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Right on. What is up, guys? <laughs> what is up, Jake Nation? It is your boy Jake coming at you yet again. This time, with by the way, with the master of all ceremonies, the other half of this team, the great one, <laughs> always smoking 420, and with our special guest, can, uh, guest can you, uh, Creek, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? First of all, no, 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 I'm, I, I, I can't. Um, I'm. It's against the rules for me to tell anybody about me because, um, you know, I, uh, I only do this for fun. You know, but, but anyway, I'm, I'm everybody's favorite Twitch dad. I'm Plays Creek a lot. If you don't know who I am, you don't know where I come from. You don't know what I've been. Uh, I'm uh, over 50 years old. I've been around the block a few times. I do dad advice for a living. Uh, in other words, I tell you guys what you need to hear, not what you want to hear when you ask me questions about it. So whatever it is, I'm your guy. Interesting. You um, do that I on a podcast? It, I, huh? You do that on your stream? I do that on my stream. That's what I do. Oh, that is my I'm, thing. I'm I, I, I talk about everything. You name it, I have a pro I probably have done a show on it or I'm going to do a show on it. Right. By the way, the oh, funniest okay. part about all of this is, as I met Jake as a fluke because Jake came in one day and he started talking some mad smack and uh, we smacked him down. Not in a bad way. It wasn't that kind of smack. It was one of those, he didn't understand what, what was, was going on. What was he talking on, shit about? Let me hear the oh, top. Remember, it was it was so long ago I couldn't even tell you, but I just yeah. remember that the incident was the incident. And then about three days later, he comes back to me and he says, um, "I really like what you do. Can can I be a moderator?" <laughs> oh, and I was like, no. "You know what? You know what? Sure. You know why? Because I trust you know your judgment. You first no, off came to happen. me. And that didn't happen. It, like it, that. Did. it did. It did. Okay, it Jake did. Jake. And it's okay. And it's and no, no, it's legit." Because you were going through a really rough time when it came down to moderators and channels. And you were telling me that you had like this whole thing going on. And I was like, dude, I got your back. It's okay. We got you. And you've been one of my moderators ever since. And it's a beautiful yeah. thing. You have never, you've only disappointed me once. And that wasn't a disappointment. That was just a, you didn't know any better because nobody had told you. Daytime or nighttime streamer? Uh, I'm a daytime. I stream at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Friday morning, Saturday morning, Sunday morning. Well, the reason is because a big chunk of my followership and a big chunk of my uh, normal streams are actually overseas people. Uh, they just love talk shows for some reason, and especially us weird, you know, English folk. So do I. I'm into it. Paci uh, Pacific time. Uh, he's on. 6 a.m. Pacific Standard. Yep. Is that what they can type in to follow you? Because I was yes. going to shoot the follow when I get off of this. Mm. And what game yeah, you? you any games at all or just the dad? I, the dad? I still play games on occasion. I still play Borderlands. Borderlands is my main, i.e. Krieg. Um, <laughs> Krieg is my favorite character in the Borderlands 2 series. Of course, Krieg is my favorite character in the whole Borderlands series altogether. I don't know. I'm kind of like, well, I kind of like Tiny Tina too, but you know what I'm saying. Because um, <laughs> who doesn't? Who doesn't like? It's almost perfect to your real, yeah. real, real heroes need chocolate chip cookies. Um, but but yeah, no, it's that's my thing is I do uh, I do the talk show. Uh, plays Creek a lot on Twitch, and you can type in Plays Creek a lot at uh, Twitch.tv, whatever, blah, 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 and now there I am. Uh, easy to find, easy to do. Mm -hmm. Now, Craig. Yes. With you being a dad, here's a good one. Jake will like this question. Yes. What is your thoughts on the hot tub meta, meta and the ear licking meta that is mm. currently going on? Okay. Twitch? Even though it's died down, when okay. it was first cracking was off, okay, so I did, I did a hot tub stream uh, on my birthday. Uh, in a bikini top, so I, I've done I want it. to have to use duct tape on his. So I did it for a reason. Okay, so my reason oh, was okay. mine was a parody. Mine was a joke. Mine was made yes. to be a, uh, 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 a make fun of. See, we're in a weird society. Unfortunately, you say this, and people go, um, "Well, you're just being sexist." I'm like, "Okay, wait a minute." Men look at women. That's what we do. We can't help ourselves. It is ingrained in our nature. There's, you can call it toxic masculinity if you want to, but it is really just that we are guys. We can't help ourselves. We look. Um, where it crosses the line is where you start touching and oogling and making sad statements that you shouldn't be making. But the problem is, is that we look. That is what it is. So if you put a girl in a hot tub, <laughs> who's not going to look? Let's be real. If you put a hot girl in a hot tub, they're really going to look. 
it's just our nature. We can't help it. Do I agree with it as a as a thing? No, what not your necessarily. First thoughts? Your first original thoughts. My first thoughts so about I, that particular thing thought. was look at look at all these young ladies using what they got to make money. Woohoo. You know, I mean it's kinda like going to a strip club. You go to a strip club, you go to a stripper, you, you look at a I stripper, agree. she's doing it for money. You know, it is what it is. It's nothing wrong with it. Is you know, it is a profession, it's doing what you do, it's you know, shaking what your God gave you and, so and you're to use it. Because you were able to no, not in the slightest. I, I don't look at I don't look at all these these people that say oh well you know we're we're not good because uh, we're not doing well because women streamers out there are showing boobies and making it you know making it harder for us. It isn't that if you're not getting followers you're not doing it you're not entertaining people. It's yeah. that simple. It has nothing to do with whether you have tatas or not. It has yeah, to do with you. My if you're being is you. I can understand them making money. It's not something I watch, but it's not something I'm like oh my god I can't believe this. I'm more surprised that. There's not a loophole to where Twitch stops it, but they must be making some kind of money. Okay, so it's I'm gonna use I'm gonna bring up Amaranth as an example. Yeah, we uh, love Amaranth. We, love, we do love Amaranth. Everybody loves everybody loves Amaranth, but she has a nasty habit. And here's her nasty yeah. habit. Every once in a while when her her stuff starts to deteriorate ever so often, um, she'll pull a shenanigan. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is. No but move. she'll pull a shenanigan. She'll move, she'll pull a shenanigan, and the second she does it, she's right back up on top again. Uh, and they ban her for two or three days, but that doesn't hurt her. That clouts her. That gives her more clout. Um, and, and that's a perfect living example of, of that system. Out of all those girls that call themselves creators, I think Amaranth is the smartest one. She's not stupid about how she does it. There is an absolute truth to that. Um, I'm not going to knock her in any way, shape, or form. Like I said, she's shaking her money maker and doing what she's got to do to do it. And I'm down with that. Um, yeah, he I, and, like and, a cool guy. Yeah, well, none of it's none of my business. I mean, I don't think it's wrong in any way, shape, or form. I'm I'm all for you using what is you to make you. You know, if you if you are the kind of individual that needs that kind of thing to make your world, hey, more power to you. You do you, boo. It has nothing to do with me. I'm not going to judge you for it. The only things I judge are people that are doing things that are for a different and very janky reason. We'll just leave it at that. You sub to anybody. Whatever that is, huh? You sub to anybody being on. Oh, I sub to I sub to I sub to a few people. Uh, Sefi slays, of course. She's my daughter, so of course I sub to her. Oh yeah, of um, course. Any um, normal streamers not related to you. Yeah, yeah. Joker. Um, 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 Boxers. Is Joker a girl or a guy? A guy. Yeah, jo the original Joker. He's uh, he's a dude, um, and he's he's on my sub Boxers. list. Boxers. Um, of course, Boxers. <laughs> uh, B forty two. Uh, ben to 42 and Emily, uh, Rose Emily Wendy. Um, yeah, Emily Rose Wendy. Thank you. Um, those are pretty much my, my, the people I sub to right now. Um, and the reason is because I follow their, I follow their content and, uh, I dig most of the things they do. Um, you know, everybody has their bad days. Everybody has their bad moments, but by and large, those are the people that have never in my personal opinion, stepped over that particular line. And of course I also sub to my son, but you know, that's neither here nor there. The people <laughs> but, that are, Tell me this: the people that are saying Twitch is dying are those people that are just butt hurt that they're not making no money and yes. they're trolls. When you see all those papers, okay, there's, so there's let, these guys like Twitch is dying. Rap yeah, sauce go, last go, night going back out of here. To, go back to um, go back to uh, um, the one that just died. What was that? Um, I don't even remember it now. You see, Somebody I'm getting that. No, the the streaming platform that died. Mixer. Oh, people yeah, yeah, people, people jumped it. to it and thought it was the next big thing, and 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 nobody remembers the name now. You know what I'm saying? Mixer. It died. Why did it die? Because it didn't do what Twitch has been doing since day one. Now, are there a bunch of things Twitch could do to improve it? Supposedly. That's what YouTube is. The gaming ain't set up. But it is. It is what it is, Facebook, and it's not Facebook going anywhere. Sucks. Facebook, Facebook streaming is never going to take off because nobody likes Mark Zuckerberg. They don't trust him. He's lost how much of our information over the years? There. There's no, like, you know, your views. Nothing's, like, goes to no, The whole thing is, is, it's like, okay, well, I can understand. It's like building a, uh, starting a YouTube, okay? you can, Anybody can start a YouTube channel. Yeah. Yes. Whether your YouTube channel grows or not is based we on a few have things. A, a perfect example. Oh, Periscope. Like said, if Periscope can, is the one that died, not Mixer. Yeah. Periscope. No, Mixer, Mixer died, died too. Mixer, Mixer died, too. So did Periscope. But the whole thing is... It doesn't matter what streaming platform you're using or talking about. They all have their ups and downs. The one thing that is steady is the reason Twitch is still here is because they stick to their same original formula and they haven't tried to change it. They are still doing what they say they were going to do when they started out. 
They haven't changed it. They haven't thrown any surprises at anybody. They're telling you what you're going to do. The only thing that pissed off people was their whole, um, 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 you know, streaming somebody's music uh, and the, uh, uh, you know, the Privacy Act and all that other Which crap. That that's shouldn't the, bother the music artist. That should, that's bothering Twitch. Exactly, exactly. Because the artists don't care. So long as they're getting airplay, they really don't well, care. They, I yeah, mean, that's not saying if you were playing my. And well, not only that, but if you're making millions of dollars on it, on, on your music, whatever it is. Now, if that streamer is using your music as their clout and that's what they're making their money off of, okay, then I can see you getting a little butthurt that they're using your shit to make money from. However, comma, in my case, if I'm just playing it in the background and it's just music just to keep me busy and occupied and I'm not, you know, having to worry about, uh, uh, you know, anything, but I'm just playing the tunes that I like to listen to. No, no, no artist in the world should have an issue with that because you're actually exposing them to other people who may not have never heard their music and now might go chase it down. You never know. But that means that they're going to in the long run make more money. However, comma, we are just using it for background noise. Who was your mentor in the teaching of the setting up? Streaming. Okay, so my first mentor was my son. My son started streaming about six months before I did. Yeah. And uh, in his, huh? Yeah, I said, yeah. I said, yeah. So he's been, yeah, he's been doing it about six months longer than me. He's the one who got me into streaming. And the reason was, and one day he says, you know, we should game together, you know, and and uh, and stuff. So we started gaming together, and his screens awesome. went skyrocketed. So he says, man, you should probably start up your own. I'm like, yeah, okay, that sounds like a plan. I can do that. I can uh, I can try that. So I did, and I fell in love with him, obviously. There's good content there when you're a dad doing something that younger people do. Right. Well, I did everything wrong, obviously. I mean, I did a yeah, lot of wrong geez. things at first. I I'm made a, a lot of mistakes. Back. You know, I made a lot of mistakes. I did a lot of things. He's a five um, time. However, right. Pesci's a five time. Five time. Not champion. Five time. Time. It's a, it's a Not champion Kenny. Yeah. Felon. Five time felon. <laughs> I didn't know you, baby. Stealing. Nicknamed Stealing. Hey. Just, Before just don't was... sweat the small shit. Don't pet the sweaty shit. Pet the, you know, anyway, don't sweat the petty shit. Sweat, pet the sweaty shit. Anyway, the, the point is, is that it doesn't matter what your past is so long as your future is better. Um, and the only way it's going to happen is if you put your effort into it. That's pretty much the long and the short of it. It doesn't matter what you did in the past as long as it wasn't, uh, you know, playing with little kids. We're fine. <laughs> it's just that simple. Uh, what, I, what I have liked about it is not more the views, learning how to use the computer and do this. Because if you could learn to do this stuff and it just happens that you come across a decent angle, you never know what could happen. Exactly. Exactly. And I'm, I'm, I do most of my own. In fact, I do everything on my own. Um, I've done my own uh, raid scenes. I've done my own uh, transitions and all that stuff. Now, I use other people's stuff to do some of it because, like, um, I will use Mo, uh, Movavi as, a, as an editor. I will use, you know, things like this. But the thing is that I'm learning how to do all of that myself. Uh, most of my stuff I do now, I do on my own design with the exception of like my logos. I'm not a graphic artist. I don't even attempt to be a graphic artist. You guys can have that shit. Um, but as far as, you know, doing sound bites and putting the actual show together, that's all me. Uh, as far as my YouTube, to... go ahead. I want to show one. I want to show one thing. I know that we don't have, we don't have team B42 raid yet, but. Sorry. Is that, him? Is that you? That's all right. You can throw that out there. That's that one you? of my favorite fams. That's one of my favorite fans. B42. Uh, my fans are uh, mine, of course, which is Krieg's other voice, but we, that's a kind of a private one. And then, but I'm a huge, I'm a B42 Empire member because um, I believe in B42 as a, as a group. I used to be a raid coordinator for them, and they are amazing uh, as a family and promotion. Uh, I am a huge supporter and uh, a member of uh, the Phoenix Cartel's stream team. Uh, I'm also a, um, a Nova Energy affiliate, so if you know anybody wants to you know hook up with Nova Energy, just let me know. Oh, yeah. All the information, uh, it's good stuff. It uh, it is my daily go-to for energy in the afternoon. Trust me, uh, I love my Nova Energy. Uh, my favorite flavor is Gal Galactic Grape mixed with uh, Celestial Punch because that's just the best flavor ever. Hey, um, you want to see some clowns? Yeah, I'm looking at three of us on screen right now. <laughs> no, look, look on the Pesci, can you uh Oh yeah, 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 yeah that uh, uh, um, uh, ICP. Yep, ICP. ICP. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, the you great know, Malenko, you, man. If you put a black t shirt on and you painted your face, you could probably go as one for all week. 
I could, I could, <laughs> except that I would prefer, I would prefer what I always go as, and uh, uh, that would be Krieg. Um, I can't, I don't think I could broadcast my uh Tell the fans uh, about the moose. Somebody thinks it's Bullwinkle. Oh, no, it's not Bullwinkle. It is simply the moose. The moose is just uh, me, although it started out because of the hat. Um, like I said, I have a channel point thing, and you know, you throw down two thousand channel points, and I'll put on the wear the hat for a half hour, and uh, you know, it's pretty funny to have a Twitch dad running around in a moose hat. And then my uh, one of my is that like a th a, right. a, a slogan? I'm not. I'm new. Yeah, it is. I am everybody's favorite Twitch dad, and the reason is because okay, so that came up because I went to a TwitchCon a couple of years ago, back when they still had TwitchCon, uh, which by the way, there's a new one coming up in 2022. So if you want to meet me, I'll be there. Uh, secondly. Sick? TwitchCon. It's in San Diego, it California. San Diego, oh. California. Oh, it's for Dog Lives. Yep, San Diego, California. So anyway, Jake, get in your get your ad get your headphones on and become part of this, you wing nut. Don't just sit there bored in the yes. background. No, he's just wing thing nut. He does. Oh. <laughs> he does that once a show, he gets his, he's stretching. He's got so many that's what he's doing. I got you, I got you, I got you. He's listening, trust so, me. That's so, why he has uh, me. <laughs> right. So uh anyway. I got to TwitchCon and everybody kept asking me questions about, you know, uh, what they should do with their girlfriend, what they should do with their friend, what they should do with their family, Sexually? what they should do with this. Yeah, no, 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 not sexual stuff. The the um, <laughs> how do how does boy meet girl? How does boy talk to girl? How does guy how does girl talk to guy? Um, what are the prudent and, and proper ways to talk to parents, you know, and things of this nature? Um, so I started telling people that it was dad advice. You know, I was just telling people that, you know, I'm just giving them good old fashioned dad advice. A little bit of common sense, you know, mixed in with, uh, you know, a kick in the pants on the occasion. But I don't ever tell anybody what they want to hear. I don't sugarcoat. I don't believe in it. If you if you Any need to hear something, you're going to go on between you and another guy about what they should do. And no, I don't argue. If it's your choice, it's advice. You can either take it or leave it. I'm not going to kick yeah, your yeah, pants okay. either way. That makes sense. You know, I mean, it's it's none of my damn business whether you take it or not. I'm going to offer it to you because you you need it. Obviously, you asked about it. But if you don't take it, I'm not going to hold no grudges. Now, don't come back to me two years later and say, "Well, I failed because you didn't force me to." I'm look, dude. That's on you. <laughs> I, I failed. Nobody said. Who's going to come blame <laughs> yeah. you for failing at a show? Oh, dude, it has people. happened. It has absolutely happened. Um, it has totally happened. Yes. About pleasing other people in some of the things you do. Stop. Okay. Just do you. Yeah. Okay. If you see a problem, bring it up, fix it work around it and go on sorry don't, about don't this to continue to <laughs> there's no sorry he's not sorry <laughs> no no it, like i said it's just like that you don't need to apologize for everything you say i am mm -hmm. simply giving you the simple advice that i know all right jake you could have told us what question he was answering do, you know, it, do me <laughs> do you focus on the Focus on the best after the rest. Exactly. <laughs> long and the short of it. I don't know where that came from, but it sounds like a wrestling saying, and if it works... Focus on the best after the rest. You know, but the point is, you just simply yeah, gotta yeah. do you, man. Stop worrying about what other people you're, are... Oh, this is the wrong clip, fuck. I, had, I got the wrong clip. You're, you're... Jake runs you the same angle that. everywhere he goes. Chaos! So, it's sadness. <laughs> Oopsies. And, kidding, and kidding. you can see the difference. You can see the difference between, uh, just as an example, you can see the difference between Oopsies. certain uh, aspects of the green screen and the green screen now. Um, yes, I still use a virtual green screen. I can turn this sucker off. The other problem with that, our, our friend Kenny, the Star Maker Bowling. There, this is my room normally. I share a room with five other computers. So that's awesome. <laughs> I have a six by I have a six by six space to play in. So uh, hence why I always use the uh, the background generator because I just don't no 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 no. But uh, anyway, so back to the advice thing. The reason I am everybody's Twitch dad is because they started asking me for advice from a fatherly point of view. And of course my son told him I was a father and blah, blah, blah. So one thing led to another. So now it's dad advice extraordinaire. Whatever you need to know that you don't, or whatever you think you need to know that you haven't had an answer to from somebody in your life, ask me. I'm not afraid to answer it. I don't care if you're gay, he, straight, ask you on air. Lesbian, right? Side. Huh? Your, son will, your son will ask you on air. Oh yeah. He has on a, he has a few times. Yeah. About certain things. That takes absolutely. a lot of guts. And is there a Twitch mother? 
out there that exists. Uh, my wife, my now wife. You're, now not, you're mixing amongst the platform. No, I don't think, mm. I don't know if there's a Twitch mom or not. I really have never seen one. Um, the closest one I would say would probably be Windy Mum uh, because she's mm. kind of everybody's den mother. Uh, but as far as I know, no, there isn't a Twitch mom out there. But, you know, who knows? Who knows? Hey, by the way, so, he does that every show too with the clicking yeah. out. Sorry. He likes, to, he likes to switch it up. No, well, I'm, I'm, he's trying to fuck. He, he, like, he likes joking around with me. No, I'm not trying. I'm trying to do other stuff here. I know, Jacob. <laughs> so I didn't hear what video game you said you played. I missed that. So I play Borderlands. I play uh, Borderlands. Call of Duty. I play Call of Duty. I play Apex. I play um, anything first person shooter generally. Um, I also really like RPGs, i.e. the Dragon Age series, the entire series. I don't like the Shields the series. Either. Huh? I don't like I them like either, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. There's, you know, it, it's like there's there's good points and bad points to that game. I don't like the fact that it's, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, what do they call that? Uh, click shooting, you know, where uh, where you look is where it automatically hits no matter what, even if you move the mouse once you hit the fire button, you know, kind of a thing. I'm not a big fan about a hit scan. It's hit scan. Doesn't bother. I, I don't. I'm not a big fan of that. But hey, li life is what it is. Um, same thing goes with the. I play with most uh, a lot of the uh, RPGs, such as Fallout. Uh, you know the whole Fallout series, and uh, of course the Dragon Age series. Of course the uh, um, anything to do with Dungeons and Dragons. I'm kind of a fan of. You know, just kind of my my uh, my thing. So <laughs> it is Jay, what it is. Jay, uh, tell, Jay. Me the, tell me the characters are on his shirt. <laughs> Not your shirt on his. The minions. I have minions. <laughs> I do have many minions, and they're saying ba 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 banana. I can't move can't around now. Banana. I can't move around because it's on the charger. So, <laughs> what's well, right? Your is no low, Jake. That's why you look all frettled. No, <laughs> yeah. no. The, I, I'm, I'm having. It, I can't sit here for long. So oh, what, around. What's wrong with you, Jake? Because he's just having a, he's having a day. He was not like this before the show. He's having a day. He Maybe was I'm all excited. Nervous. Jake, do I make you nervous? Uh, no. Trolls make me nervous. Well, there's you no got no trolls. there's no trolls here, and anybody tries to troll you, they're gonna have to deal with me. Mountain timer to troll. Mountain timer trolls are us. We're in a cave with three people watching us. I wouldn't be afraid. <laughs> right, that's exactly. Nobody needs to know anything else. It's what question did you, Jake? What was the question you wanted to ask him? I didn't hear you were screaming any out. Yeah, exactly. No, uh, you know. Oh, the tell show's... him what the name of that cam is, Jake. Tell him what the name of that is that you're in right now. Coffin cam. Oh, the coffin cam. Yep, yep. <laughs> there you go. Hold on. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm trying to. I'm watching your. I'm I'm a mod in your stream, so I'm trying to make sure it's all good to go to. This one, that one. There By the way, it, uh, that was the only picture I could find of you, Krieg. Oh no, that's fine. That's a totally legit picture. Uh, I love the picture of my that's cat. The only me. one he can find. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't hurt my feelings any. It's all right by me. <laughs> I'm more worried. I'm more worried about you being okay than I am worried about me having a big picture in your. Oh, bed. he's actually fine. He got a bunch of packages this week. He just more coming. He's the king of, he's the king of chaos, and I got a package. By the way, when are when are you gonna put your dude? When are you gonna put your emotes up? Uh, I, gotta to, I gotta learn how to do it. I just got. I'm new. Any recommendations, uh, Dad? I'm yeah. Well, okay. So, how do you? How do you? What? Okay. So, you you have emotes, right? Already made? Not yet. Uh, I just okay. started the right. affiliation. So, I'm gonna tell you to. I'm gonna tell you who to go talk to to get your first set. Okay, it will cost you a hundred bucks because nothing in this life is free. And if you want good quality, nothing in this life is free. But I can guarantee you, he'll set you up for hundred bucks. Um, his name is Sniforge. He's one of the followers in my channel. Uh, that is his actual channel. It's S N I F O R G E Sniforge. Um, he's an amazing individual and he's good at what he does and he's not super expensive and he'll talk to you through the whole system. He'll ask you about yourself. He'll get your, uh, personality before he starts throwing stuff out. He's the guy who did my moose. And if you don't notice that moose is me, I mean, that moose is actually me hat, glasses, goatee, the whole night. It's me. It's just me and moose form. Three. So. Two. Jake, Boy. turn the border yes. off. You could have told them what you were going to play before you played it, Jake. No. <laughs> He's going to play a song of Jake singing real quick. 
Uh, hey, you do what you got to do, man. It's your channel. <laughs> I'm just a monkey in it. Uh, <laughs> That's what I at it. You do you. I'm just a monkey in it. Oh, the goddamn one. Three, two, one. Here is a story about Dr. Dan. He is on Tuesday. He's on the radio. Every I hate my voice. I hate my voice. All right. Well, Jake, I always if you hate your voice. Then why do you sing? You you need to. If you hate your voice, fix it. You can work Usually on it. Usually, songs are his best content. Hey, you can take that off now. Yes, Jake. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> So anyway, I would just go talk to him. Snifeforge is a good individual, and he's good to do what he's doing. So anyway, um, oh, the we point can is, is this. when you're starting out, when you're starting out at the bottom, all you need to do is work your way up, one piece at a time, one moment at a time. Stop worrying about what other people are doing and try to imitate uh, them, and just be you and your personality, and that's it. Everything else, it'll fall into place. Because the thing about this is, you have to be genuine. You have to be true to you. You have to be yourself. You can't be somebody else. It's yeah. just that simple. They see right through that crap. See, Everybody I know that... Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. You, no, finish real quick. I'll, Everybody I know that got into streaming that was um, doing it under a, a false pretense or they did it because they were playing a role and they thought that would work. All those guys are gone now. You know, they just didn't last because they don't have... They weren't themselves. They weren't being themselves. They were trying to play a part or play a role. You know, if you're a professional wrestler, I'm going to bring a wrestling thing into it. If you're a professional wrestler, you're playing a role and a part on that on that show. But if you meet most of those guys in real life, they're nothing like the characters they're playing. They have no reason to be. Okay, you look at the Miz. The Miz by himself is, uh, in his real life, is an excellent individual, a decent soul. His character, douchebag. That was kind of the whole point. You know what I'm saying? So in this world, they see right through that crap. So the best thing to be is you. If this is you, 24-7, 365, do you, boo. <laughs> oh, no, that's him. He's the king of chaos. Jay Cutson, the Mississippi Mudhouse. No, yeah, he's, he's, he's cobra, the, the autistic cobra. The thing is, the his, his, cobra. he actually has good days. He overreacts to comments trolls make that aren't even relevant comments in the business. No, exactly. But, you know, that's he's not the only one. The problem with trolls are, okay, so... I deal with trolls on a regular basis. I get them all the time. Um, I get them for my age. You know, I, you're too old to be. You're too old to be that. streaming. You're old. To, you're too old to be streaming. What do you know about streaming? You don't know nothing about technology. And I said, dude, you know, play me some Borderlands. I'll smoke you in a, like a cigarette. But that's not the point. Um, mm -hmm. You know, play me in in Call of Duty. I'll smoke you like a cigarette. It's that simple. I may be old, but I'm good at what I do. The thing is, is that being a, a Twitch personality or a person that is putting yourself out there in public, you're going to get trolled. Yeah. And it happens all the time. The trick is use them against themselves. Whatever they say, don't let it bother you because they're just talking out their ass. They do not know any better than what they're doing because somebody hasn't obviously turned them over their knee and smacked them on the ass. They have not gotten any discipline in their life. They don't know any better. So you treat them as such. You don't know any better. And the second you do that, it takes all their power away. You can't control my stream. It's mine. I'm not going to let you take it over. I can't think of huh? it. You remind me of an actor. I can't think of it. Jake, I, I got to ask you a question because this can either be good television or chaos television. What is going through your head exactly at this moment? Is it A, Pessy saved you again? B, why were you all happy 25 minutes ago? Because here's the thing, we uh, when we were when we were backstage, we were we were we weren't having to deal with the live stuff. Just pretend we're backstage, Jake. I told you right now we are probably in front of millions, but you know what I mean. And usually so, he's not this upset. Usually he's on talking about taking dumps and uh, <laughs> telling people to fuck off on my show and sending them links. <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing. They pretend Lightning that's your bolts. show. That's your show. I don't have to worry about. Okay, so Jake, 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 don't worry. I hear that. What did I? What have I told you a thousand times? What have I told you a thousand times? What? Take a fucking deep breath and chill the hell out. Don't take it so seriously. Okay, are you trying to absolutely make a living off of this right at this particular this moment? Are you the most? Are you the most famous Twitch streamer ever? No. Okay, then stop worrying about it. It's not worth worrying about. 
Enjoy your show. Enjoy your time. I've Be never you. seen him worry this much about. I air. know, right? And not to mention that he's doing just fine. I mean, yeah. I'm doing 99 percent of the talking. He's sitting there sweating. <laughs> Stop yeah, guys, sweating it, dude. I might have to go into my archives and show this guy who you really are. <laughs> I've seen him. I've been him in my channel. Because um, this is like an. Uh, uh, I think he's just doing the fuck with me. Might just be a. He probably. Guy. It looks like. Well, I see a shitty grin on his face. It's entirely possible. I was like, Jake. Yeah, I'm, but, I'm thinking about how we were doing it. This guy's had some good info. He's twitch so, guy, older guy. That's, that that's yeah, well, yeah. Older is right. Thanks. Don't call me old. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Like, I'm saying you don't get the. A guy that gets a, yeah, I want to hear your thoughts about an amaranth or something like that. No, I, like I said, I have a, I have probably seen, you know, I've seen more you life than 80% old. of the people on Twitch. I am. Shut up. But I'm also dead sexy, so shut up. Because look at good, look at this, good, you're at my age. Squirrel. Squirrel. Yeah, yeah, squirrel. I don't think it'll play here. No, I can't get it to play here. But uh, <laughs> no, the whole point is, though, is that we can sit there and we can talk about, um, Anything you guys come up with, doesn't matter what the topic is. I've either done a show on it or I have some knowledge on it. And that which I don't have, I am willing to absolutely say, first off, I don't know nothing about it, but we can look up that information together and we can find you an answer because that's the most important part about this. I talk about mental health on a regular basis because that's the that's the key to this whole thing. I did a is, story called The Nut House when I had to go to this hospital, not like overnight, right, no, but like, I was like falsely diagnosed to where I was in groups with people that were much were worse. Nuts. Yes. Yeah. yeah, no, I've I've met some folks that were that way. The the trick is is that that like I've I've put it into my world that it is okay not to be okay. That is a perfectly legitimate statement. But it is not okay not to seek help. So if you're having an issue or if you're having some even remote problems, whether it be PTSD, anxiety, depression, uh, flatulence, I don't care what it is, there is a there's a solution. All you need to do is start looking for it. You're not going to find it without help most of the time. You have to ask somebody. Well, guess what? I'm a perfectly legitimate person to start asking. First person. If I don't have the answer, damn sure I'm going to help you find one. And Jake knows it. <laughs> so, so does everybody else. Huh? Your microphone's good sound quality microphone. Uh, yeah, I run a uh, uh, Samson G Track Pro, but I also run it through a uh, uh, a voice program, so it makes everything a little more smooth, a little more uh, less, you know, modulated. I guess is a better is a word for it. Uh, but I can change it. I can I can bring it up, bring it down, do whatever I need to do with it. But like I said, I like it right where it's at, uh, mainly right. because I do stream in a room with a bunch of other people. And sometimes my voice in real life as a, uh, I project. Never so really alone? Loud. Always with people? Well, I'm, I'm alone right now, but it's not like, but my room yeah. is constantly full of, you know, stuff. So I never have any, I never know when somebody's going to come in and start gaming or doing whatever they need to do. So I have to play along with that rule. So oh, I, I set my microphone question up. for Jake. Go ahead. Uh -oh. Jake, what was the your favorite thing that, Play Craig a lot? Is that what it is? Plays Craig? Plays Craig, Craig a lot. Plays, Plays Craig, a lot. Craig a lot. What yep. was your favorite piece of information Plays Craig a lot game? Take a minute and think about it if you have to. Actually, the best thing, uh, when he talked about, like, the homestead and stuff. The homestead? What's oh, homestead? Talking about, oh, he's talking about uh, survival um, stuff. I do, uh, I'm a survivalist. Hmm. Uh, I'm a prepper, but not that kind of prepper. Like the I show believe in... survivor. You guys determine who gets to be. No, 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 no. Hell no. We're talking about <laughs> actual survival in the world. Like, like, like uh, the show's like post, um, post life, like huh? homestead rescue and all that shit. Yeah. Like... Yep. I do. Uh, basically, my whole world is based on um, getting people information, and I, so I believe in survivalism. I believe in having that information available. Uh, if the world were ever to go to hell in a handcart, I would like to know that I have some some way to survive it, at least for a while. And I would like to know that I have the skills to make it happen. Because if the world ever does go to hell in a handcart, individuals that don't have any training skills or otherwise are just not going to make it. So you might as well just hang yourself up and put yourself in the backyard because you're not going anywhere. And that's just not me. I don't like the idea of giving up on anything. And I don't like the idea of people having to give up on their lives because they're friends of mine. Not going to happen if I have any say so. So you're going to get the knowledge. I'll lay the smack down of knowledge upon you. I will. I'll give it to you. Give it to you good. 
And what was your gig before Twitch? Oh, so um, basically I'm a chef by training Ah. and by trade. Um, I am no longer a chef. I am now uh, a manager. I am in the, I am an executive now, so I don't have that. uh, I don't cook like I used to anymore. Uh, now I just make sure that everybody else does their job, and I get to yeah. make sure that they are you also, uh, able to do theirs. He also did like this. He also did like a uh, towing and recover. Like I towing. still do. Yes, I still do that as a as a part time. Um, my job careers were: I was a Navy CB for thirteen years. Thank you for your service. Uh, I was a crane operator, Thank and you, uh, I was Thank good at my job. Service. Thank you. For Thank your you, service. sir. And then I got out of the Navy, and I went into private practice. I drove truck and ran crane all over the country for a bunch of years. Uh, and when I was not doing that, because it was, you know, it's construction and it's an up and down, you know, industry, uh, I would drive tow truck in between. So I got really into, into recovering vehicles, which was something I just really enjoyed. Yeah. So now I own a badass Jeep and I go out and I rescue people for fun. So I'm still kind of in it, but I've had a couple of careers in my life. Yes, I have. I'm old enough to have experienced a few changes. Uh, I'm pretty much Thank settled you. now. I think I'm going to stay yeah. where I'm at. And, uh, uh, oh, go on, Jake. Go on. I just Go want ahead, to say Jake. number one, I gave you the idea to put duct tape on your on your nipples. Yes, you did. I didn't do it because I have hair on my you nipples and removing the duct tape would, would suck. Such an idea. They want to know why you would give such an idea. Because it's better it's better than wearing a bikini. No, the bikini was so much cooler. And then you know what's funny? That bikini got me I had I had a, a, I had a troll uh, I'm gonna call it a troll raid. I had a troll raid from a streamer in Brazil. I had over 1,100 people in my stream for almost an hour. Because oh, I, got, I, got, yeah, I got a troll raid. raid. Okay, so a troll raid. Yes, the, all their people were in my channel talking all kinds of smack and doing all kinds of things. Mount Timer and the, says, I tow people out of the mountain to get stuck with my. There family. you go. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yep, that's awesome. That is a beautiful, Mount beautiful Tyler, thing. If you want to come on, I will put the link in the chat if, if, if Mount Tyler <laughs> wants to come on. So, Not the other chat, part of that... Don't, don't do that. I don't, have, dude, I don't have him on any social media. This is the only way I can <laughs> get it to him. Okay. <laughs> no, because last time he did that, we were getting messages from Jimmy Crack Corn and Jim Tyler, Crack. I don't on. care. If Jimmy Crack Corn and I don't care. Lightning bolts, <laughs> Bullwinkle. Right. Um, so has a lot of old why is, yeah well no it happens it's okay it's totally legit um let's see wait i need to bring up something else while i'm at doop to doop hold on let me find it why go i always tell people i'm like the translator for his interviews so usually <laughs> it there's happens. like a little gurgling and then i'll turn that into three questions <laughs> you want to come home to a mal- you're, you're, you're allowed home? you're allowed but um, I do. I'll tell you how I met Jake was we were on a podcast. Uh, some guy named Kenny, the star maker bull, and it was in the wrestling business. And people started calling me Pesci on his show. And it kind of blew up to where I just kind of turned it into a solo thing. But my eye was always on doing the gaming part. There you go. Well, see, gaming is a beautiful thing. The only show problem the I've ever dose. had with it. Show me some the daily dose. Why? <laughs> that makes no sense to show that right now, Jake. So Maybe my, my was whole, the name of the podcast I wanted to be the name of originally. Right. So my whole thing about the gaming thing is if you're an ex- excellent gamer, if you're spectacular at gaming, if you're really good at whatever gaming it is you're playing, mm-hmm. hey, stick to the gaming thing. It works for you. Um, I personally suck at gaming by comparison. I mean, I'm not a bad gamer. Don't I'm get me wrong. Great. But but I get so focused faced that I completely ignored my audience and. That's not good for a streamer. You have to be able to engage and be engaging and remain engaging. Um, I was not that guy. So um, I was 100,000% better at talking. That's what I do. Minutes, so 20 minutes until an hour. Jake, yep, show, minutes until an hour. show our guest a video of you and the councilman. What councilman? Pull the banner down first. You know what councilman I don't even know if he was a councilman. This guy looks like a councilman. Oh, Jake I got you. He's... Random. No, Jake. Jake called me. Jake called me. Twitch's answer to to uh, Doctor Phil, and I was laughing when he said it because it was talking like about the one. I was. I didn't want him. I didn't want to surprise him with what happens. But basically, the one where you got, you know, the M and M's came back. 
Oh, the one that I got sick? Yeah. I, know, I, oh. have, I, have, I have to... No, I don't don't, to... don't worry about it, Jake. Don't worry about it. Hold on, I can grab that. <laughs> I can go to my Twitch clips. No, nah, it's all good. Just chill and glide. I mean, if you find it great, I thought he had it it's great too. Banner saved. Usually he plays it five times an episode. No. Oh, I no, see. I, I see. It's the most <laughs> fucked up video in the world. So, where in the heck are... So, I'm looking at... I'm sitting here watching Jake's channel on, on Twitch. I'm not seeing those comments that he's talking about. Because we're on YouTube. We're on YouTube. Oh, yeah, no, I, I was just on YouTube, too. I didn't see him on there, either, on his page. What what comments are you talking about? Uh, the, the guy who was asking about the tow truck thing. Oh, because uh, Jake has them blocked, probably. No, I, I, I put it up on here. I, I put it on. Yeah, I yeah no, I know here. the question. I know what the question timer, is. It's mountain timer. It's mountain timer. Yeah. But how did the... Uh, see if I can do that. Let's try. I will deal with that later. I can't see his questions. Welcome to the Hudson Hour. All right, here we go. Okay, you know, there you go. No, that's not cool. Let's try here. Whoopsies. There we go. Let's try here. Yeah, we're going to do Mario Kart eventually. Uh, Frank's you know what's, out you know what's really funny? I'm sitting here looking at this. I'm on Jake's. I'm looking at Jake's YouTube, right? And dude's got more followers than me, asshole. <laughs> Just <Yeah>. saying. <laughs> By a long some shot. Some of them are ghosts and got, dragons and stalkers. Jake but... to you, man. I'm just saying. You you totally could uh, go ahead. Uh, 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 DJ Gas. Uh oh, damn, dude. That's a good thing I'm not a sympathetic uh, puker. Yeah, that could have been really ugly. <laughs> did he see that? Did the guy see it, Jake? Yeah, I think he did because I think he paused. And, I think he paused in what he was saying. Oh, jeez. That poor dude. So who okay, who was that guy? That was, a, that was a Gomez Adams from TK Class Rock out of Syracuse. Oh, I got you. I got you. Jake was demanding they put a fountain with a whale somewhere in a city. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Gomez, Gomez Adams from from TK from uh, Syracuse, New York. I like you Schmidt's right comment. On. I like Schmidt's comment, Jake. There's Schmidt. Chinese uh, star maker bowling. I am not seeing the whole version of this there, but that's all right. Let's try this. Let's try Comment it. of the night right there. there we go. Ghost, okay. Stalkers, Mustang. Send them five dollars. Send them five dollars, uh, Pesci, and play the music. Send them five dollars to play the music. What the fuck are you talking about? The Comment oh. of the night. I'm not right. Now I'm okay. So now I've got it. I see everything that's going on. I don't feel so bad now. So Creed, <laughs> be Twitch quiet. Here, do not Mario comment Kart. of the night. Jake as ghosts, mustaches, mountain timers. Yo, wait, hold on. Reading, looking wait, at something. We're getting raided by Amaranth. What? Gotcha. That, now that would be fucking hilarious. That would be awesome. Uh, Jake has ghosts, stalkers, mustaches, mountain timers <laughs> following him. <laughs> <laughs> he he's still kind of kicking ass and taking names in here. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, C. Gonzalez, actually, he's here, I think. Uh, she strikes me as a, she strikes me as a shady car, car salesman. Sales. You're shady. I tell people what's wrong with them. Yeah, no, no, the, the, I own a the, car lot, I'm part owner. Pesci yeah. has more personality. <laughs> uh, what it actually boils down to, really realistically, is if you're going to do this as, as a streamer, and this is where my, my part of it comes in, you gotta um, fight the trolls. That, that, that well, you gotta understand the trolls. Why does somebody want to troll somebody else? Okay, what is their motivation? Why Attention. do they need that? Penises? There you go. They don't. Well, that, most of them have penises, yes. But the Ew. reason they, the reason they troll you is, that, is because that they my want poochie? attention. Is that my poochie? They want you to acknowledge what their bullshit is, whatever it is. This is shit. Even if it wasn't my poochie, Jake. It was, so it was, the funny. Uh, I mean, a fake the funny Mike part poochie about all that is. Uh, hey, Poochie's here. What's up, Poochie? Um, Jake uh, is a whack pack member and got his own spin out. There you go. You do what you got to do, man. That is what it is. So anyway, we the whole point about start, trolls are they want acknowledgement. My channel. So the trip, the best, the best advice I ever give everybody about trolls is acknowledge that they're there, but don't acknowledge what they're doing. Okay, ignore what they say because what they say is just basically just to stick you off or or to pull you off your game or whatever it is. Acknowledge that they're there. Hey, thanks for the comment. Eh, you know what I'm saying? Or thanks for the comment. Eh, 
or whatever it takes. But Jake's like the kid do. from Drop Dead Fred that always talks to the fucking the bad guy. To make, well, so when I when I have a uh, I have a question, is there a show tonight? Mountain Timer said that. Oh, uh, so, maybe. No, no, not for me because <laughs> this is this is the show for tonight. This Mountain is the Time. show. How about for me? You guys are stuck with my old ass as the interviewee today. So, you know, suck it up, Buttercup. This was a damn it is. good show. Be the guy. It is what it is. This find the a clip. Damn. Hey, Pesh, find the clip of those. Uh, of those, uh, of, I, know, I look, I look, I look, I look. Right now. But now, as a, as a matter of fact, now that we've got all your people from uh, from YouTube on here, too, um, you guys can ask me questions, too, and I will do my best to answer What is your favorite uh, food? From a dad point of view. What is my favorite food? Oh. That is too easy. Uh, it's called a Hawaiian plate. Ooh. Yeah, it consists of some of the best Hawaiian food ever. Uh, Lao Lao, Kalua Pig, <laughs> and Lomi Salmon. Those three things makes the best meals ever. The food is amazing. So if you like Hawaiians, that's the way to do it because it's the best food ever. Coke so. or Pepsi? Coke Me? or Pepsi? Coke or Pepsi? Neither. I'm a Mountain Dew guy. Ooh. <laughs> Sprite or Seven Up? Sprite or Seven oh, Up? Oh no, neither. Oh no, neither. I don't like lemon lime. I don't like lemons. Yeah, I don't have them anymore, Jake. Mugs, no, mugs, root beer or Bart's root beer? Oh, Barks all day long. Barks. I have a comment, real quick. One you time, comment. I, and I want to hear your thoughts because you're a dad. Jake, once upon a time on my show, Jake, I want you to tell him what you said about. Pink flamingos. I made one comment that I said that pink flamingos are homosexual. Oh, no, Jake, see what you said. Because, no, I didn't agree with the Pink comment. flamingos is homosexual. And I have a pink pair flamingos. of flamingo pants. He thinks pink flamingos represents homosexuality. Even though I own a pair of... Uh, okay, so... There is nothing that represents homosexuality. Thank you. I try to hear from a dad. You know. There is no such thing that represents homosexuality. You could say you could say a rainbow flag represents homosexuality. It really, but it really doesn't. It's just a flag. Homosexuality doesn't. It, it's it's its own thing. Don't even. It doesn't have, need representation. It is what it is. You are who you are. We'll live with it. There's no representation. I, uh, uh, I got all right. Question I mean, number two. Oh, go on. Question number two. One? McDonald's or Burger King? Um, Burger King, all the way. Pizza Inn, or the Pizza Hut, or Little Caesars? Oh, Pizza, pizza Hut, all day long. I can't live without the. I can't live without pan pizza. KFC okay, or uh, KFC or Popeyes? Um, actually, KFC because Popeyes, I usually get sick. Yeah. <laughs> Is there ever a right time on stream to announce you have diarrhea? This is for Jake. Um, actually, it depends. It would depend. Um, are you talking shit or not at that moment? If you're talking shit, it's perfectly legitimate to say that. You have <laughs> it was his opening line. If you're not talking shit, well, then, you know, then, then no. Fuck <laughs> off, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the great Harry Barnett. Uh, Oh, the great Harry Barnett, Jake, asked who he would want to put through a table, Brad, 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 or Brad. Brad. <laughs> it's a whole joke because he didn't even say the name Brad. He actually said a whole different name when we asked him that originally. Yeah. Right, right, right. I, uh, I said, I said, he, <laughs> I, I said, I said either Chelsea Green, who's a wrestler, or I would like to put Keemstar through a table. Oh, that's uh, wrestling references. I don't watch wrestling. I am a total jerk when it comes to that. All right. Um, who would you like I to punch? Up wrestling the, a long time ago. Who would you like to punch in the face? Keemstar or Dr. Disrespect? Uh, me, personally, neither. I love the just Why would you say Dr. Disrespect, Jake? You don't like Doc? <laughs> no, I, there's, I, don't, I don't hate anybody. That's my biggest thing. The people okay. I don't like are, um, they, don't, they don't represent anything in what we do. Um, I don't like pedophiles, and I don't like people who are racist. Those are pretty much the things I don't like. Anything else is none of my damn business. What you do in your own home and what you do in your own life, that has nothing to do with me. 
Dr. Sorry. Disrespect, he can ride that wave as long as he wants. Call that zombie eyes what Jake has going on. That's zombie eyes. That's when he's <laughs> – you never know what you're going to get right now. Well, I know what he's doing. He's looking at his screen going, what am I reading? What am I reading? What am I reading? I've been there, done that on that T-shirt. Uh, I don't stream on I don't stream on laptops anymore. So there's a reason. Well, he probably does a little pitching down How many there. pushes does it take to screw in a light bulb? Ooh, this ought to be good. <laughs> None. He will hire – he will get the Ohio <laughs> man to do it. That's right. He hires somebody else to do it. See, that's like, uh, okay, so I've got a couple of bad jokes. These are chauvinist jokes. These are going to piss off some women in the audience, but hey, it's not going to piss them off in real. Remember, these are just jokes. <laughs> just jokes. They're not real life. They do not actually represent what I believe. They're just shout jokes, but country, I thought they were girl. funny. So shout out to Country Girl. All right. So here you go. How does, a, how does a woman or how does a male chauvinist change a light bulb? He doesn't. Screw the bitch and she can cook in the dark and get while she's at it get me a beer. Second, what do you tell a woman with two black eyes? Nothing. You done told her twice. Now you got to kick her in the ass. It's a joke. It's I've a joke. Heard, These are all jokes. Heard, we know. This is Jake's fucking. <laughs> Jake said way worse jokes than that. Oh well, well, I'm just, but these are my idea of bad jokes. I mean, bad green, because I don't. Turn off your green screen. Almost. Turn off your green screen. Turn off my green screen. Okay, I'll turn I'll off. Tell you why? There, turn off my green screen. Is that really now, make you that here's happy? the thing. Uh, by the way, Mountain Timer. Now he's got a uh, Craig has got a dirtier house than I do. So, actually, this isn't a dirty house. What this is is we just got a delivery of a bunch of new cards uh, for my my uh, roommate's collection, and we had to make room for them to set in our normal space um, because we we ran out of room. <laughs> And now we're slowly but surely dwindling it down. And then, then what you be seeing behind me is my my roommate's computer setup. So that's a thing that's there. And then his wife's is next to that. And then my wife's is over to my my uh, right. And then we have our server back in the corner. So needless to say, um, yeah, we're we're kind of in a room full of game stuff. It is what it is. But uh, here we are. Hi. How are would you, would you, you, know, would you ever on. do a sleep stream in your gaming room? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, sleep split stream. stream again? Sli if I no, needed sleep, to. Sleep stream, why oh, you? hell no. You're, okay, so let me tell you about sleep streams. First off, uh, why? Second off, if anybody wants to hear me snore that much, just wait around a few minutes. I'll start <laughs> snoring and, at random. Third, if they want to hear me pass gas, I can just randomly, you know, drop the mic down my shorts and you can hear that too. So you really don't need to hear me sleeping. Sleep streams are about as useful as well, right, basically. crazy. Jake is I, holding his laptop with his foot and his big toe at the moment to hold it over. Well, his good head. for him. If he's got the talent, way to go. A sleep stream, Mountain Timer. A sleep stream is where you, you actually leave your camera oh, on and you just pass out in front of it. <laughs> that is just not yeah never um yeah it's a thing and and but usually girls get it usually yeah. girls appreciate it. usually girls get that so it is what it is <laughs> brad <laughs> so but that's kind of the whole thing is all this is based on you and how you want to do it i don't give two shits uh i never have if people want to you know say what they want to say in my stream I'm a, yeah, right, a what? Um, I, <laughs> I stream what I want to stream, and I don't let anybody interrupt that. Yeah. Has Jake asked you to lick the mic yet? No, and he won't. He did if he knows what's good for him. Off air. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he did off air. Um, I will never lick a microphone. No more than I will ever do a, uh, what I do call it? For, uh, for doggies, I I do a lot. No, no, no. You want to you know what I'll do for money on my stream? My stream, um... I am me for my stream. If you don't want to give me money, don't. I don't care. I, I'm just going to do my streams anyway. Dude, are, um, we gonna, are, we gonna, are we going to have to do a hard stop at about uh, one hour? It's up to you. You're the boss. It's your show. All I am is a monkey going, dude, here I am. Why do you call it a hard stop, Jake? Why do you act so professional when deep down inside you know you're the most unprofessional man in Mississippi? <laughs> have you uh, – I know this is a stupid question, but uh, – there's no such thing as a stupid question. Have you ever had Lyme disease? <laughs> no, I've never had Lyme disease. <laughs> yes, yeah, because that was the first question he asked Marty the Moth, who did have Lyme disease. And Jake, that's um, not funny to okay, ask so, that disease. 
Bye. Um, just, just for full disclosure, I do have cancer. I am a cancer survivor. I do have cancer, um, oh. and I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. It's going to be fine. Um, the reality is, is that it doesn't matter what somebody's past is based on. It's just what they're doing now. I agree with that. Don't worry, don't worry about. Don't worry about the history lesson. Don't worry about any of that crap. Can you um, hear me? Jake's always we'll use that as learning yesterday. experiences. Hey, look, yeah. play, play the picture, Pesh. Play the Push picture. What? I don't have nobody. I don't have a clue what he's talking what about. What picture? Point, point the picture. Of the, the. He wants me to point the picture of you holding the cat like that. Everybody's yeah, already. He, he, it, it, no, yeah, like nobody can see that there's me <laughs> holding the cat. <laughs> that's my that's my damn cat. Yes, that is Mouse. He's the mouse cat, the house cat. He's the most mouse. famous cat on Twitch. I wish I had him for here to get the mouse. <laughs> Yeah, that's what he used to do. He's a little older now. He doesn't quite chase mice like he used to. But uh, back in his youth, back in his youth, that was Ma that is Mouse Cat the House Cat for a reason. He was good at what he did. Uh, he's kind of amazing. The problem is the mice funny. start fucking and then they're everywhere. Yeah, right, and then they're everywhere. Welcome to Rogan Road. I don't want to uh, hear that. New yeah, flowers always do. bloom in the in the spring, Jake. That's absolutely true. Um, my biggest thing that I always try to tell everybody is your past is simply a learning experience. Everything you did that you got caught at, everything you did that was wrong, everything you did that was a mistake, everything you did that you uh, thought was a wrong or a mistake, did you learn something important from that lesson? If you did, then that's your future. You can learn from it, He's step away from it, and not do it again. Jock. Huh? He's a poor man shock jock. Oh, yeah. no, I'm a poor man. I am a shock jock. I am shock. Not that way. No. Now, when I say shock jock, I ain't talking about the jocks. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Parachute <laughs> thinks he wrestles death mat. My co-host is a cat man, cat guy. Oh God, I'm talking about Chongolo. And Pesci oh. thinks he works death matches for free. <laughs> Chongolo, uh, Chongo doesn't. Chongo does get paid for that shit, Pesci. I know. I said he don't get paid enough. Death match keyword. We're talking so, about uh, you know, so, know what death match wrestlers are. Yes. Yeah, so true story. Long, long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Um, I used to be a wrestler. Oh, good question. Speaking of gar galaxy far away. So the, the good, the good thing about that was it was very, very long ago. And that was for the AWA back when the AWA actually existed. Uh, we were the, we were the underdog of the underdog of the underdog. We were the not even rated on the, on the marquee, uh, group of guys. Um, I was the barbarian and there was a reason for it. I was, I'm six foot. I weigh 250, 260 pounds, depending on uh, how much weight I lifted that week. And, uh, that was I, I was 80s. Pretty big kid. it was, that was back in the early, it was back in the eighties. Yes, it was. So needless uh, to say, Vern Gagne, Vern Gagne, Greg Gagne. Vern Gagne was one of the big guys back in those days. I had nothing. I'd never met him. Let's put it out. That's how far on the food chain I was. But the point is, is that I did uh, uh, 27 matches and I never won a single one because it wasn't, wasn't allowed to. Uh, I was simply the guy they beat on and it was fun. And, oh, jobber. Uh, you, you was a jobber. I was. I realized I was never going to go anywhere, so I quit. <laughs> but I did have a lot of fun and uh, it was cool being the big, ugly dude. And I was all right at it. Uh, but in the long run, oh, totally. Mountain Timer, I am totally going to see Dune. I got a great question totally for you. Dune. Uh, wait, go ahead. Your thoughts on Disney screwing up Star Wars? Um, it depends on if you consider they screwed it up or not. At this oh, moment they... in time, oh, hold on. Let me let me tell you. I've been a Star Wars fan since day one. I have lightsabers. I dress up as cosplay as this freaking well, Jedi. I did go, I did go I grab R2 in the other room. Okay, so I am a Star Wars geek from hell. There is not too much about this whole genre I do not like. Uh, Star Wars The Old Republic is one of my favorite games I play at least two to three hours a week, no matter what. Because right. I have to. Love that old game. So, right. Love that game. Anyway, so my thing about them screwing it up is I don't think they've screwed it up. Here's what's happened. Really? If you read what George Lucas wrote uh, in his original stories about the whole Star Wars universe, um, I think there was way too much focus on the religious aspect of it than the. Did George from violence he wanted to because he had kids? Huh? George what, wanted to stay away from making the movies too violent because of his kids. Well, that was part of it. But the other thing was, is he had it as mostly as a, um, uh, it was based on the good versus evil in a religious context. And um, that was hence the, the religion of being a Jedi and the religion of being a, a Sith or, you know, dark, a uh, follower of the dark side. Um, good versus evil dichotomy. Well, 
the reality is, is the way he actually wrote them was it was more uh good versus evil gray versus not gray really deep and dark or not so deep and dark and the disney way of doing it thus far they have portrayed it as the less dark um more gray more actual what you and i if we were put in that position we would we might do as humans they handled um, you can, i never forgive them for how they did luke luke said it's a fight scene showing who he was they made him look like a a, a troll Actually, that wasn't that wasn't uh, that wasn't that wasn't Disney. That was how George Lucas wrote that part. No, At but the they end. didn't let George help them. George said he left. Well, no, that's true. They were letting them. The fuck. reason the okay. reason they didn't want the reason Luke couldn't go past that was remember the reason why Luke quit being a Jedi. If you ever actually really quit being a Jedi, the reason Luke quit being a Jedi was because he felt a um, too much of the dark side in him, and he wanted to be light. That right. was one of the one of the things about um, in the Return He's of the Jedi, not Return of the Jedi, in Re uh, Revenge of the Sith. No, Revenge of the Jedi. I think it was Revenge of the Sith. Anyway, Revenge of the Sith, when he was fighting his father or before he fought his father, he in the original storyline turned evil, turned dark. But unfortunately, that couldn't fly with the way that the people wanted that. That would be interesting. But that was what the original story said. They hinted okay, there with the black so They changed it. Yeah, so they changed it. And when they changed, they kept him good and all the things that happened after that. But the reality is, is that if you look at Star Wars from the point of view of um, progression, it has become more um, personable when Disney took it over. And what I mean by personable is they took aspects of you and I and put us where things we might make the decisions to do, as in Ray. Ray did some things that were absolutely purely emotional. They had nothing to do with being a Jedi, right? Maybe yet, they would have made her dark earlier. They that was a, a rumor. Yeah, that was one too. They no, actually, that's that, where the dude. there's just that's no where coming the, back from that. Mandalorian was good, but all that other shit was junk. Yeah, right? well, like yeah, I said, I've, I've enjoyed. Mark. Okay, Mark. so if you want to wrap this up, we'll totally and completely wrap this up. Right. This um, it's this your show. Me. I'm just the monkey here talking. <laughs> hey, Jake, fact, next time you have me out for an interview, be ready for it. All right. <laughs> Coming like you've been drinking all night and fighting a caretaker. Yeah, well, you know what the whole thing is though. That Jake can Jake can do that. It's his show. He can do what he wants to. Right. I, we we love him no matter what. Let me find somebody to raid. We're um. Okay. <laughs> find somebody. Say your final thoughts, Creed. My final thoughts are: everybody, you need to be you. Stop trying to be somebody else that you're not, and learn from your mistakes, and make that your future, not your past. Uh, that's the important, most important lesson you can ever learn. So be you, do you, and have fun. Love all your faces. I am Plays Creek a lot. Uh, if you ever want to find out where I'm at, I'm on Twitch TV. Just look up Plays Creek a lot on Twitch TV. You'll find me. I'm the only Twitch dad out there that's me. So there you go. There's my final thoughts. Oh, and right. drink lots of water. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. And oh, my final thoughts are, it was very nice to meet you. Um, and Jake, you too? get a haircut. Drink like a, a glass of OJ. Throw some water <laughs> in your face. <laughs> uh, who's live right now? J3's live. Oh, I have no idea. I haven't even been paying no attention. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Hey, when's the next time you go live, Plays Creed? Tomorrow, Tomorrow morning. morning, 6 a.m. All right, spell it out for me, Jake, so I can follow him. E L A Y S. K R I E G A L O T L A Y S K R I E G A L O T. One word. And it'll come up with a logo that looks what? like. What's uh, I'm sorry, what's that there, G? A L O T. A L O T. A lot. Yep. Yeah. Plays Creek a lot. Oh, you came right up. Nice. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm, I'm out, out there. there. On YouTube, and, I'm uh, Sir Joseph Pesci. Oh, right on. And I will follow you as soon as I have the opportunity to find hey, you. I appreciate that. So, um, yeah, the whole thing is, is uh, and my other logo is me looking like uh, kind of a, a King of the Hill kind of esque cartoon. I did that on purpose because it's very dad like and everybody loves Hank Hill, King of the, you know. We got, we got a guy that does uh exact impression of him as Jake. Yeah, I don't do I don't do King of the Hill very well. I do a lot of other impressions, <laughs> mostly ugly people. I do a Jake impression. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go. Thing. 
<laughs> Guys, we're going to... Hold on, let me talk. We're He's actually going to... Play, y'all. We're actually going to be raiding our, my good friend J3XRG. Right on, right on. Peace, love, and cornbread, y'all. Do you means as well. Thanks to Cree, Pesci, and to all you guys out there. Be safe. And you know you what? Bye now. Toodles. Good to see you. We're still live right now. I got to go. Um, yeah, on YouTube.